Quick Charts comes with several useful templates to help you get started with your diagram. For this tutorial, I'm going to use the Mind Map template to show you how to edit and personalize your diagram. Select the pointer from the toolbar to select an item in your diagram. Right-click on an item and select Properties to make changes. You will see two tabs in the Properties window, Fill and Line. On the Fill tab, remove Fill for a translucent item, select a color for your fill, or add a gradient. On the Line tab, remove the outline from your item, change the color of the outline, or add a gradient to your outline. You are also able to set the opacity level, change the width of the line, or change the line style. When an item is selected, you can also change these properties using the buttons on the toolbar. Connectors properties have all of the line options as well, and also allow you to make changes to your arrows. Select a different shape for your arrow and change the size. Each end of the connector has its own controls for its arrow. Select multiple objects for editing using your mouse to click and drag. Each object within this area will be selected and can be edited simultaneously. You can also use the control key to add or remove objects from a selection. Simply hold the control key down while using your mouse to click on objects that you want to add or remove. To add text, select the text tool. Then, click on the symbol or click the position where you would like to add text. Use the text formatting window to stylize your text. To edit existing text, double click on it and use the formatting window. To resize an object, select it, then click and drag one of the handles to the desired size. Rotate an object by clicking and dragging the rotate icon. Move a symbol by selecting it, then dragging it to a new location. Add a new symbol by selecting it and dragging it to your diagram, or simply clicking where you would like to place it. Use the Shift key to place the same symbol multiple times. When you add a connector, click on the point of a symbol where you would like the connection to begin. Then, click on the point where you would like it to end. Use the handles to adjust the location and curve of the connector. You now have all the information you need to create your own diagram. For more Quick Charts tutorials, please visit the address shown on your screen.